Hello there, everyone. Welcome to this wonderful Sunday, the 32nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, as we prepare to pray evening prayer today. Our readings uh, talk about wisdom, and uh, also they talk about being prepared. We, uh, we've all been, as it, uh, the, this gospel story today, the parable of the, the ten virgins uh, who are going to a wedding feast to meet the bridegroom, and uh, they're, all been, they're all aware of where they have to go and when they have to be there, and they also are aware that they may have to uh, wait, uh, so they all uh, go. However, uh, it says five are wise and five are foolish. And, uh, you know, that's a, we have to realize when, when Jesus speaks in parables, he's not talking about 10 young ladies, 10 virgins. He's talking to us. He's talking to all of us. Uh, we've all been made aware of the banquet. We've all been made aware of our Lord and his love for us and our eternal reward in heaven. And we've all been made aware of that. We know that, you know. And you know, we're we we know that we're when we go to church on on Sunday or any day of the week when we go to church, you know, we're aware that that we have to to be there. We have to uh, go and and uh, and be present for the bridegroom, the wedding feast of the Lamb at Mass. But the difference is being prepared to be there you know are we are we going through our life are we going to mass in a way that we're ready we're we have all we need for everything that comes along or do we just show up and then you know we it's over and did did we miss it are are, are we that unprepared that we actually don't even uh, encounter the bridegroom when we go to mass when we go to church are we or are we are we ready are we prepared do we focus our attention on the task at hand are we prepared to celebrate uh, the paschal mystery are we are we prepared to to be uh, totally present uh, at mass at uh, and in anything else in life that we that is important it's important for us to not just to be aware you know and show up but to be prepared and to be ready uh, to have all we need to have our our hearts focused our minds focused uh, and all of our affairs in order if you will to uh, to truly celebrate uh, the mysteries so it's not just you know when we look at gospel parables we you know we we read the words and we see oh he's talking about ten virgins who you know five brought extra oil and five didn't and five enjoyed the feast the banquet met the bridegroom the other five were locked out because they they were not ready <coughs> we have to i'm sorry we have to realize that you know he's always addressing these stories these parables uh, to us so we we sit in the place of the ten virgins and it's up to us to decide whether we're among the foolish or the wise we we're all aware but are we prepared so as we get ready to pray our evening prayer tonight let us pray for wisdom let us pray that we uh, take time in our lives to prepare especially we prepare for the second coming of christ when we will meet him and we will be judged so you know it's one thing to be aware and another thing totally to be prepared in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen god come to my assistance lord make haste to help me Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
In eternal splendor before the dawn of light on earth, I have begotten you. Alleluia. The Lord's revelation to my master. Sit on my right, your foes I will put beneath your feet. The Lord will wield from Zion your scepter of power. Rule in the midst of all your foes. A prince from the day of your birth on the holy mountains. From the womb before the dawn I begot you. The Lord has sworn an, sworn an oath he will not change. You are a priest forever, a priest like Melchizedek of old. The master standing at your right hand will shatter kings in a day of his wrath. He shall drink from the stream by the wayside, and therefore he shall lift up his head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, we ask you to give us victory and peace. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, we are already seated at your right hand. We look forward to praising you in the fellowship of all your saints in our heavenly homeland. In eternal splendor before the dawn of light on earth, I have begotten you. Alleluia. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for holiness. They will be satisfied. <clears throat> happy <clears throat> happy the man <clears throat> who fears the Lord, who takes delight in all his commands. His sons will be powerful on earth. The children of the upright are blessed. Riches and wealth are in his house. His justice stands firm forever. He is a light in the darkness for the upright. He is generous, merciful, and just. The good man takes pity and lends. He conducts his affairs with honor. The just man will never waver. He will be remembered forever. <clears throat> he has no fear of evil news. With a firm heart, he trusts in the Lord. With a steadfast heart, he will not fear. He will see the downfall of his foes. Open-handed, he gives to the poor. His justice stands firm forever. His head will be raised in glory. The wicked man sees and is angry, grinds his teeth and fades away. The desire of the wicked leads to doom. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Lord God, you are the eternal light which illumines the hearts of good people. Help us to love you, to rejoice in your glory, and so to live in this world as to avoid a harsh judgment in the next. May we come to see the light of your countenance. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for holiness. They will be satisfied. <clears throat> Praise God, all you who serve him both great and small alike. Alleluia. Alleluia, salvation, glory, and power to our God. His judgments are honest and true. Alleluia. Sing praise to our God, all you his servants, all who worship him reverently, great and small. Alleluia. The Lord, our all-powerful God, is king. Let us rejoice, sing praise, and give him glory. Alleluia. The wedding feast of the Lamb has begun, and his bride is prepared to welcome him. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Praise God, all you who serve him, both great and small. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. You have drawn near to Mount Zion and the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, to myriads of angels in festal gathering, to the assembly of the firstborn enrolled in heaven, to God, the judge of all, to the spirits of just men made perfect, 
to Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and to the sprinkled blood which speaks more eloquently than that of Abel. Our Lord is great, mighty is his power. Our Lord is great, mighty is his power. His wisdom is beyond compare, mighty is his power. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our Lord is great, mighty is his power. He is not a God of the dead, but of the living, for in him all things are alive. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. He is not a God of the dead, but of the living, for in him all things are alive. Alleluia. <clears throat> Rejoicing in the Lord, from whom all good things come, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father and Lord of all, you sent your Son into the world, that your name might be glorified in every place. Strengthen the witness of your church among the nations. Lord, hear our prayer. Make us obedient to the teachings of your apostles, and bound to the truth of our faith. Lord, hear our prayer. As you love the innocent, render justice to those who are wronged. Lord, hear our prayer. Free those in bondage and give sight to the blind. Raise up the fallen and protect the stranger. Lord, hear our prayer. Fulfill your promise to those already asleep in your peace. Through your Son, grant them a blessed resurrection. Lord, hear our prayer. Gathering our prayer and praises into one. Let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep, us, keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, and uh, go to bed prepared, not just aware but prepared. Be wise. Love you. God bless you. See you tomorrow.